So I've had a question today about painting on um, wood, on uh, it's, it's on, on plywood, um, on masonite even. So what I thought I'd do is I'll have a little rummage in the, in my shed to see if I can find some bits and pieces and see if we can put something together and take it right from the start all the way through to the end of a finished painting. And that means including the frame as well. So. Join me as I have a little rummage around in my shed. Okay, so I know I've got a few bits and pieces in here. This is my little shed, as you can see. I've got, that's all my little stocks and stuff from my shop. Um, right, what have we got down here? Because I've been cleaning this shed out the last couple of days, so I know what I got in here. Um, I've got an old frame, there you go. That can be useful. Let's put that up on there. And, um, we got some we got some wood there you go i got some mdf there i don't like the paint on that i got some um masonette all these other little tiny bits of wood so let's have a look what we can do with this this frame is actually nice it's uh came from my mother's house actually there you go so i need to clean that up and do something with that now i need to put um i'm going to use a piece of wood i'm going to use a little bit of this um plywood that i found so I'm going to cut that to size and uh, we'll take this, let's just throw it down there, we'll take this from the beginning all the way through to the end and showing you the whole process that I use to actually paint on wood. So we we'll hopefully we'll have a nice little painting at the end of this. There we go.
Okay, so after several coats, several coats of PVA, you can see how shiny that is. I'm just going to get a very light, very fine sandpaper. Again, very, very lightly. Just key that in. That's all you want to do. So that's that done. Now we need to get our pot. Let me be honest, just get rid of that. So I've got some homemade gesso. That's all that is, is PVA paint and calcium carbonate, which is chalk. That's the gesso I use for my paintings. I've got some more chalk there, which I'm going to add. Try using a bit of talcum powder or a bit of marble dust or anything like that. I want to mix that in with that, making it a little bit thicker. How much? Well, we want it reasonably thick. Giving it a good old stir. Just a touch more, I think. Just a touch more. Now you can use rabbit skin glue for this, if you want to. But not everybody goes to the trouble of making a gesso or rabbit skin glue, so... You can see that's quite thick. What I suggest you do is let that dry naturally um, for a good, well, overnight, I would say, overnight. And then we'll just lightly sand that then, give it another coat, let it settle. I know this is a long process, but trust me, once you've done that, it's going to be a fantastic surface to actually paint on. So I'm going to continue with that process and show you the finished product. So it's basically another two, at least three coats of that, sand it in between, another coat, sand it in between. And then we'll have the finished product. So as you can see, it's the final coat. Um, this is taking about three coats. So I'm just going to let that dry, give it a light sand, and then I'm going to prepare it ready for painting. And by that, me, I, by that I mean I'm draw something on it and um, and start painting. So I can't wait. So I got the I got the the substrate and the and the frame. I can I can sort the frame out. I'm going to put a varnish or paint it, put some gold on there. So I don't know yet. But um, yeah, I can't wait to start this painting, so stay tuned. <laughs> 